Hello, what is going on? Today I've got another editing tutorial. Today, you're going to learn how to edit something that looks like this. Wait, wait, wait. Ready? Three, two... <laughs> what is this? That's right, reaction editing. I don't know what to call it, so that's the closest description I've got. Let's jump right into it. So first of all, I'm going to add in my video clips. Alright, I've dragged my clips into Resolve and now I'm just going to drag them in and sync everything up. Alright, okay, so I've got my face cam here. I've got the video I'm reacting to underneath it. I'm just going to click on the layer with my face on it. I'm going to change the zoom to maybe about 3, 380. That works. Position, I'm going to slide it across until it's in the bottom left. And then I'm going to go down to the crop here and then just crop it into a box, readjust the position so it's a bit better looking, like so. So as you can see, react to a bit of Lady Pons because she is the funniest human alive. Um, my voice is a bit loud, so I'm just going to click on my voice layer volume. Now uh, I'm going to start the edit. So first of all, I am going to zoom in from a full frame on my face. So. As soon as she says the first wait, my face is going to come down to this right here. So I'm going to create a keyframe on crop left, the zoom, and the position. I'm going to go backwards a few frames, and then I'm going to change the zoom back to 1. I'm going to change position to 0, 0. I'm going to change the crop to, to 0. Ooh, the zoom didn't quite change to 1. There we go. So now we have got this animation zooming into the face cam frame. Wait, wait, wait. Ready? Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. Alright, that was very quick. I'm just going to scroll out using Alt Scroll, go to keyframes, and then sort this out a bit. So I'm just going to spread them further apart so that it doesn't look as quick. There we go. I'm just going to... A bit further. There we go. And now I'm going to go onto the... Well, first of all, I'm going to collapse this layer because that's a bit annoying. I'm going to go to the video uh, that I'm reacting to and I'm just going to change the zoom parameter and the position so that it takes up the whole frame. All right, right here we're going to give Lele demon eyes for no reason whatsoever. So first of all, we're going to hide this layer right here. And then we've just got this freeze frame, right? With this freeze frame, what we're going to do is we're going to head over into the color tab at the bottom here, right click, grab still, right click, export, call it whatever you want, Lele. I'm going to call it Lele, save it as JPEG, save that, go back into the edit, make sure it's on media pool, right click, import media, there we go open that up drop it in so now we've got a still frame of daily above all the other videos you can unhide this now click anywhere off the clips click control and the button next to the z and then that just clips it all the way down all the videos extend that out to keep it out the way so now we have this and now maybe the demon eyes are going to last for that amount of time Okay, right, we're going to go into Fusion and draw on it. So, go into Fusion, right, set the spline aside, put this down here. As we learned in my previous DaVinci tutorial, we can just create a simple paint by turning the alpha down on this background, shift space, paint. I am going to want a neon glow on this, so I'm going to put soft glow, add that, click on this, create a merge node, merge node, control T that real quick into the output there we go paint i'm going to go for a red there we go that works uh, if you don't know what i'm doing right now just go to my other video where i taught you how to do this and then we are going to make the brush size a bit smaller by the way this is just all coming off the top of my head we're going to go to about let's just say two frames in right we're going to start with red dots on our eyes we're going to go to the next frame i'm going to keep the dots on her eyes and go to the next three and we're just going to do the same thing all 
All right, now that we're here, I'm gonna go on to frame 14 and I'm gonna make lasers shoot out of her eyes because I can't, that's not good. I'm gonna make it shoot down there. Frame 15, I'm gonna continue on this animation. That's looking pretty good. Let's finish that off. Right, and then uh, I'm just going to cut the clip short there because I can't be bothered to paint the rest of it. So, Alright, okay, now that we have that, we are going to right click and create a new compound clip so that now this clip is free for us to transform however we want. And then when it gets to here, I'm going to create a zoom keyframe, position keyframe, and then, oh, and a rotation keyframe actually. Rotation keyframe, get to about here, get to here, zoom in on good old Lily. I want to make that a bit quicker, so I'm just going to move that in. There we go, that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to click this, go into colour, and then I am going to add a serial node. going to just for a change everything to be demonic red there we go so now there we go it's everything's red and uh, just for added effect we are gonna go down here we're gonna go down to where it says camera shake chuck on some camera shake let's see how that looks there we go mm, actually camera shake isn't enough we're gonna bring that up a bit bring that up a bit bring that up a bit there we go but now, we need some audio behind that, right? We need some audio behind that edit. So let's go to, um, right, what, what have I got that would work? All right, so I've got this. It's going to be pretty loud. I can already tell from the waveform, so I'm just going to turn it down. Control, button next to the Z. Get rid of that, move that in a bit. Beautiful stuff, beautiful. Let's get rid of that. Alright, cool. Okay, now when I say the word what, I'm going to, uh, okay, first of all, I'm going to press B and I'm going to create a section of where I'm going to what edit myself. is this behaviour? Okay, so that's the end of where I'm like, stop zooming in and out my face, so. Okay, before I say what, I'm going to create a zoom, position, crop. crop. While I'm saying what, zoom is going all the way, crop's going down. There we go, so now we have this. What if, there we go. What, what if. And now we're gonna just press B and create a, just cut that there. And now I'm gonna copy and paste the attributes, the position and zoom attributes for this. Just uh, copy there and then paste attributes. I'm gonna paste position, uh, zoom and crop. There we go. So that's back to normal there on either side of this edit. What is all right? Okay. When it gets to there, I'm going to take this opacity, bring it down so that you can still see the background clip. What is oh. Actually, now that looks a bit um, jittery, so I'm just going to take that and put it there. What is this? There we go. Okay, and then when I say the word what is going to be echoed or amplified, so I'm going to isolate this section of me saying what, bring it into Fairlight over here, right? And so you can see if we zoom in, this is when I say what. I'm going to bring in the echo, see what that does. Echo, um, I, I don't know what this is, I've never used Echo. What is this? What? Oh, okay, wow. Delay time, bring that all the way down, delay time, bring that all the way down. Um, yeah, as I said, I don't really know what I'm doing. Feedback delay. Um, what is this? What? 
Ah, she doesn't sound too bad. Yes. All right, cool. Oh, we've got that. I'm just gonna get rid of that, and then I'm gonna bring in some distortion. We all love a bit of distortion. Put that on. Change it to the square thingy here. Yes. It, a bit loud, but um, we can just change that by bringing the level down. Yes. Maybe not. So I'll just control Z. Level. This is the level that we want. Yes. There we go. Back into the edit. I think that audio is pretty good. Yes. Is this? And then when I see behavior. Behavior. Okay. Right. Uh, it's gonna be zoomed. Okay. So first of all, I'm gonna turn off all. Um, keyframes for this clip right here by just doing that there we go uh, zoom position center it on like this oh bit too zoomed actually no you know what this is fine and now opacity bring that down a bit and then i'm gonna go to colors and then i'm gonna add a serial node i'm gonna make myself very blue and green with anger i know it should be red with anger but i, I don't care do I? And then I'm going to put in camera shake, but you have never seen camera shake like it. Right. Um, max. Oh, max, max. I don't know what I'm doing. Behavior. That, that actually looks pretty good. Right. I'm going to isolate behavior real quick. I'm also going to isolate the background video and just zoom in a bit just so we know that we are talking about Lele Bonds, the only female Latina that matters apparently and then we're gonna go to my audio where I said behavior I'm gonna go Fairlight behavior there we go that's where it is and then I'm gonna go distortion right gonna click the squirting gonna go all out high cut yeah low cut I don't know what this does cut level uh, let's see how that sounds behavior all right uh, okay level down high cut yeah yeah fair enough what else come out to it um what's reverb oh that's amazing i never knew that i could do that i've never used this before in my life oh that's beautiful that is that's absolutely beautiful i never knew that that existed Look at me learning. I'm just going to obviously turn the volume down a bit because that's a bit loud. Not that quiet. Yes. Is this? Okay. And between uh, my behavior and this cut right here where I unpause the video, I'm going to make sure nothing's selected. Control button next to the Z. Press delete and all that. Okay, and now I'm going to show you how to do subtitles or like text. So I'm going to subtitle, oh god, this is why I love Girls Night, right? Alright, so from here I'm going to get rid of my face, right? Alright, and now from when she starts to say this is where I love is why I love girls night zoom position just zoom into that face all right and then just zoom back out of the thing like that yeah screw it that works and then just before I do the subtitles I'm gonna go to when she says this is when she says this is why I love girls night I'm just going to take that audio, hop into Fairlight, do some more of that um, distortion. We love a bit of distortion here. Distortion is everything. Oh God, this is why I love girls. Nope, let's just turn that level down. This is why I love. Uh, high, low, ceiling, sure, level. That works, that works, that sounds okay. Well, it never sounds good because it's lady talking, but in this context, it sounds pretty good. 
So she said, oh god, we're gonna go titles, text, drag the thing. Ooh, uh, uh, drag the thing. We're gonna say, oh, spelled correctly, it's literally two letters. How can someone mess that up? Right, fonts, choosing a font. Okay, now I don't want that to be basic, so I am going to create a keyframe on video. I'm going to create it on zoom position. Can Snapchat just like die for a second, please? I'm trying to record groundbreaking tutorials here. Create a keyframes here. Go back to this rotation angle. Zoom. That is too slow for my liking, so I'm just gonna. Oh my days, brother, Ashley. Okay, and then I'm going to add some camera shake. You know we love camera shake over here. So I'm going to just go filters back down to camera shake. To cam. I can't. I can't do that. Why can I? Why? All right, I'll, I'll just create a comp compound clip. That should fix it. There we go. Beautiful stuff. This is going to shake so hard gonna shake more than the Parkinson's patient is that too far and then same with the god damn god gonna be so shook you won't know what hit him Ooh. why why am I pressing random stuff new compound clip there we go camera shake boom motion just everything to the max honestly That, that looks fine, that looks beautiful. I'm gonna just fade it in because I can. Fade in by just dragging this thing at the end. All right, now we've edited the old guard, now we're gonna add in the subtitles for This Is Why I Love Girls Night. All right, uh, drag the text thing. Okay, so first of all, the, oop, this, and I'm gonna just change that to, let's, think, let's look for a, um, what's this? Oh uh, yeah, sure, I don't really care. So, not zoom, position, Ooh, position, this. Actually, not just this. Okay, let's change that to this, is, now highlight this, Y. That's a bit delayed, right? Okay, and then she says, I love. Alright, and now I'm just gonna have girls. There we go, beautiful. Get away. I couldn't care less at all. We, I genuinely, you could ask her, could you care less? I, the answer would be no, I couldn't care less. For all you girls watching, if this is actually what girls night is like, how do you live with yourself? Girls night, there we go. Alright, now I'm going to test out a theory I've got, okay? Oh my days. Right, okay, if I go to adjustment clip, and I get an adjustment clip, and ooh, I'll need to drag it above, there we go. And then, uh, right. If I have this adjustment clip and I go to open effects, I go down to camera shake. Will it camera shake all the text? Ooh. It camera shakes the background as well. That works. Right, I'm going to change the text of this. Change the text to uh, red, sure. Girls, change that to red as well. Alright, cool, 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 cool. Okay, and then. Okay, and now I'm gonna come here, control button next to the Z, control button next to the Z. I'm just gonna get rid of this to connect the. To me, just looking at the camera. 
And then I'm going to cut there. I'm going to get rid of these keyframes. Like this. I'm going to zoom in to my own face. I don't know why I spray my camera so off center. Alright, um, now we're going to add some music to that. Here we go. Finally found the clip that I was looking for. There we go. There we go, I think I've isolated that pretty well. Let's just move on, uh, move that over to here. You know what, we're gonna add camera shake and then do a green screen explosion for no reason whatsoever. So we're gonna go open effects. Oh, honestly, I'm in love with camera shake. Ever since I discovered it like yesterday, I'm absolutely in love with it. Not enough camera shake, not enough at all. Come on, what are we amateurs? Come on. I want you to be using so much camera shake that your computer can't even begin to process the video. All right, nice. And now what did I say we we're gonna do? Oh yeah, green screen explosion, right. So I have a video of green screen explosion that I'm going to find right now. There we go. We'll add in this as well, just for the lols. Okay, so now, first of all, what we're gonna do? Let's do the anime. Let's do the anime one first. Does this have audio? Yes, it does. Let's just get rid of that audio. Anime green screen. Let's go. Cut that out. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna go fusion. Okay. We're gonna go fusion. We're gonna. Drag splice out the way. We're gonna click media one shift space. What we're gonna type in? We're gonna type in ultra here. Add, we're gonna drag this pen to the green. Easy. Beautiful stuff. Same with the explosion. So I'm gonna take this audio, drag it to where it's needed. There we go. And now let's go to Fusion again. Uh, no, Ashley, we are going to need to hide this so that it actually accesses the fusion clip for the explosion. There we go. Media one, shift, space, ultra key. Let's go, boys and girls. And whatever you want to be. There we go. Look at this. And there we go. That's your tutorial on reaction editor. And that should be everything you should possibly need to know if you want to make your own videos or edit videos in this sort of style let's uh, let, let's just play that back ready Three, two. <laughs> what yes. is this stuff of dreams what can i say anyways hope that was helpful at all probably wasn't but um see you in the next video